Wow guys, so I've been waiting so long for this. I ordered this about two to three weeks ago and finally it's arrived from China. The Chin Weeble 2 combo. This costs about 8,000 US dollars. Unbelievable. And I ordered the image transition module, but that hasn't arrived and I ordered it both at the same time. But yeah, they didn't include it yet. Hopefully it arrives soon so I can start my tutorial videos. I do a lot of tutorial videos on different gimbals. And recently I just sold off my DJI Ronin SC. Uh, the reason why I sold it off basically is not that it's no good. It's just that I realized that a lot of my films and my movies that I do actually, I require a lot of the use of this handle on top for that kind of flashlight and a low shot. So I really, really enjoy using that. It's so much more convenient and less tiring than the Ronin SC where, you know, you have to tilt it forward like that in flashlight mode. And it's really tiring if you're gonna do a lot of filming. So this is a lot more convenient. That's why I use the Weeble S quite a lot, but I decided to upgrade to the Weeble 2 and to see what's the difference between this and the Weeble S. This, of course, much more advanced and with that image transition module, with the, what the videos that I watch on YouTube, really, really cool. So I decided to buy this and this video, we're just gonna do an unboxing just to show you what are the parts that come with the combo set. And maybe we'll try and figure out why it costs 8,000 US dollars. So let's get straight to the unboxing. Alright, so let's get straight to the unboxing. I'm gonna open up the seal over here, paste it over here. And of course, later on, I'll shift the view over so you can get a better view. But at the moment, I think I'll show you like that how to open the box and stuff. Alright, cool. Opens up like this. Straight out of the box, it looks like this. Cardboard protection. So this combo set comes with this beautiful case. Wow, looks fantastic. Check it out, guys. Cool waterproofing case, different materials on the front. A cool Chi Yin logo over here as well. This tag over here, making it look all nice and basically just aesthetics to make it look like really, really premium. But look at this, this is awesome. So let's check out, firstly on the front, is there any, oh it's double zipped, so one zip over here. And you open it up, it's another zip. Okay, so we're gonna open the second zip. Yeah, I mean this is the first item. Let's rip open the package, it's the strap. That's cool, so we're gonna put on the strap right now. Really, really nice. So the strap is there, nothing else in the front pockets. I like this kind of canvas material on the front, make sure with the cloth. And this handle is also uh, cushioned, so it's really convenient, uh, really nice to carry. And what's this? So this is a flap over here, just about it. There's a, another storage here, but another pocket here, but that doesn't have anything. So let's check out the main compartment. What's over here? Oh, cool. So more space over here. I hope you can see this. More space over here. You can put your batteries, your camera stuff inside here as well. And you can see, I believe it's the tripod. Yeah, wow, this is so cool. You can put multiple tripods if you want as well. Same tripod as the Weeble S. Same material, like a leathery kind of finish. Oh, okay, something different is that this tripod doesn't have that locking mechanism like on the Weeble S. You know, when you mount it on top, mount this tripod on top, there's normally a button for you to lock it in place. This one doesn't have that. This actually just screws in as per normal, but there are some holes on the top. I'm not so sure. We'll figure out what this does, how it actually secures in place. This is another tripod designed by Chi Yin. Check it out, guys. Okay, this is the one that actually attaches on the top. 
So this has that locking mechanism. So basically the tripod on the Weeble S previously, this tripod, you can put it at the bottom and then you switch it to the, to the top if you want to. Now they separate, this is for the bottom and this is for the top. I'll show you a close up of this really, really nice design. Hard plastic mixed with a metal body. And design like the design by chain words is uh is pretty cool pretty yeah the design is looks pretty nice and there's locking mechanism quarter inch tread and 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 a button on the side on the left over here so yeah pretty nice wow totally game changer there if you ask me as compared to the weeble s so let's open up the main compartment so many pockets in the back there isn't any pockets so okay so this is what it looks like there's like a cover here which is also pretty cool the cover the tripod so let's check out this portion over here and see i believe these are the cables so instructions manual so neatly packed so inside is this package where they have all the cables for all your different cameras from Sony's to Canon's to your Nikon's to your Fujifilm and stuff. So you have the USB type C, USB to micro, uh, type C to micro USB, type C to mini USB so you can use uh, DSLRs. Uh, type C to type C, type C to multi USB, th those are the Sony's. And then they give you a uh, three quarter inch screws one m4 wrench so basically that's it so they give you three quarter inch screws and one wrench together with all the cables for any camera uh, later on we'll check out the compatibility list and how it differs from the weeble s as well i believe i was looking at it and it has a lot more cameras dslrs as well so so this is the camera riser looks exactly the same as the weeble s camera riser so next up is the quick adjustment plate over here So this is the lens support, plastic is, uh, as well, plastic lens support and also the lens support screw. Previously on the Weeble S is actually two pieces where you can actually uh, you know, detach the two pieces. This one is just a single piece so it looks a slightly different mounting process as well. Looks, this, looks like the mounting process for the uh, DJI Ronin SC rather than the Weeble S where it's two pieces they come apart for easy attaching and detaching. So that's about it in this portion over here. And let's open this up and check it out. Wow, really, really cool. Looks really well built and the design looks freaking awesome guys. So there's just uh, two straps for you to undo secured by two straps one over here and one over here wow it's the same size as the weeble s i believe but why does it cost more so much more expensive like five or six hundred dollars more expensive so you have the monitor here spin out oh cool so look at the monitor is over here you spin it out and you open it up. Wow, that is freaking fantastic, guys. I'm astounded, really. And there's a cool design over here. Cool Chinese words, chi yin, on the, on the monitor, as well as on the back of your uh, axis over here. Yeah, I'm so really, really cool, guys. Wow. So that's all inside the box. Looks like less parts, actually, if you ask me, than on the Weeble S, but I believe the build quality is a lot different, uh, especially the locking mechanisms feel a lot more premium and of course the design and everything is so well labeled and this looks more stylish, yeah, wow. All right, so you gotta take this piece out and with the chain words facing you, put it on and screw it in. 
If you have an Allen key, it'd be much easier, but you know, you can open up the monitor if you want, but if you have an Allen key, you can actually screw it in much tighter, but I'm just gonna use my finger. Make sure that it's flushed, make sure that it's straight, and just like that. And then for this one, all you gotta do is with this button on the left side, flip it upside down. Make sure that the button's on the left side, and then you just push it in. Simple as that. Then next step is you gotta flip it around, lock it. And then this le lever here, you can just push it in and tighten it, and you got a nice sturdy grip. So that's pretty cool. And then for unlocking all the access, pretty simple. Just above the words pan access, there's an unlock button. That's to unlock the pan. On this side here, on top of the roll axis, flip it up. And on the last axis is over here. On the tilt, flip it up. All good to go. Open it up with the roll axis at the handle itself. Lock it in place. And we got everything locked in. So pretty easy, pretty neat. Super nice design, guys. The trigger button on the front for recentering. All right, guys, so that's all the time we have for today. Stay tuned in the next video where I do an activation and a setup tutorial with the Sony A7C. And then following that in the next upcoming videos, we're gonna move on to the rest of my cameras like the Nikon Z62, Nikon Z50, Canon EOS RP, and the Panasonic G9. So remember to hit the subscribe button, like button, and the notification button, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.